Ina, Mariana, Marta, Alina, Nastia, Lera and Nastia had been travelling from bus to train to plane for a week to flee from their home, Ukraine. Their lives were turned upside down some two weeks ago when the invasion of Ukraine by Russian forces began. Before then, these women worked together at an IT company. Now, their hometowns of Kharkiv, Krivoy Rog and Kiev are under attack. No one of us can still believe that we are here. I know it's like where we are actually. <laughs> because Gibraltar is too small, all of us doesn't know anything about Gibraltar and uh, now we are here and uh, I ask, talk to girl and no one can believe that we are here. Just we need some days to relax and understand that we are here and we are safety. So now looking back on the situation in Ukraine, in the build up to what happened and what is happening, what was going through your mind? Were you, you felt like you needed to leave straight away? Did you want to stay? Did you understand why all this was happening? What, what was in your mind at the time? Um, the first day, all of us can believe that something happened, something really happened. It, I don't know, it was like a dream and a lot of our mm, I don't know, neighbors, mm, people from our city, uh, at the first day moved the city and um, uh, we stay there sometimes and um, we just read the news, we see the situation worse and worse and we understand that um, any time it can start at our city and we just should go because if we want to leave we should to move Ukraine. Now you've um, you've left Ukraine and you've also left your husbands behind. Most of you have husbands that are still there. So so have you had contact with them and uh, what's what's going on for them right now? Do you know? Uh, we are on contact all of them as I know safety in safety. In the west of west of Ukraine, yes. Um, but unfortunately, they can leave Ukraine now because our government closed the border, and it's I don't know. Just <laughs> um, of course, it was um, better to be here with them. We all afraid to to leave them because we don't know. Um, as I know, what happened in in Ukraine now. All, all of them not in safety because every moment um, can come police and break them to the army. It must be a very um, hard feeling to have whilst you're here knowing that that could happen. Yes, I talk about uh, quietly, but believe inside it's like uh, I don't know, breaking everything when I think about them that any moment he can be at the war. Now, before we started the interview, you told me about some of the plans you had um, before all of this happened. So what was going on in your life before this and, and what was in your mind? Um, about me, uh, we planning with my husband to buy a car. <laughs> We're planning about children, maybe in this year, or next year, and all of us have some plans. So all of us, you know, just the little plans uh, I plan to meet with friends at weekend, <laughs> and one moment is just like your plan. When the group were first told they could come to Gibraltar, they asked, "What's that?" Now that they're here. Ina says they need to just relax and take stock of what is happening. Ina says they're all hugely grateful for the help they've received on the rock. 